A termed out assemblyman seeks a future in the private sector. Hello, I'm Ryan Haslam with your SEV News Break for Tuesday, February 14th. And welcome for this Valentine's Day. Assemblyman Cameron Smythe, whose term expires at the end of this year, has decided not to run for state senate, a move that many expected to be the next rung up the ladder of his political career. One key factor in Smythe's decision was a desire to be present for his children's milestones. So, when I was first elected, the, you know, my boys were, were still very young, mm -hmm. and they were able to come up every month. So that really that, that made, the, made it easier but now they're both in school and we have another child and it's yeah. difficult. And my kids are in an age where they actually think I'm cool and you know, want me around and I don't want to miss that. Tamai said that he plans to focus his energies on working with his colleagues in Sacramento for the next year and find some resolution to the state's budget problems. The new combined Santa Clarita Sheriff Station and L.A. County Courthouse is one step closer to being built. The L.A. County Board of Supervisors approved the terms and conditions of two new option agreements on Tuesday. Now the county can move forward to, for plans to purchase two 6.1-acre parcels at the cost of $2.87 million each. The land will be purchased from Newhall Land and is located in the unincorporated Castaic Junction area at Interstate 5 and Highway 126. Coming up, a multicultural performer captivates an audience at our SEV libraries. More after the break. This is Toyota Today. The all-new, completely redesigned Camry SE is now in the fast lane. With its paddle shifters, race-tuned suspension, and available 18-inch alloy wheels, lease the new performance-driven Camry SE for just $2.29 a month, or choose low 2.9 financing for 60 months on a new Camry. See your Toyota dealer. On Monday, representatives from Providence Holy Cross Medical Center presented the Santa Clarita Performing Arts Center K-12 Arts Education Outreach Program with a $10,000 donation. More than 700 local elementary school students enjoyed a performance of the show Tao, The Art of the Drum. The K-12 program uses the college's cultural and community resources to provide local students an opportunity to benefit from top-tier performing arts curriculum. And now for the weather. Yesterday's storm cleared overnight, giving way to sunshine and winter-like temperatures today. We hit a high of 63 this afternoon. Temperatures tonight will be freezing, dipping into the mid to lower 30s. We'll have a 40% chance of rain tomorrow. Windy conditions Thursday and Friday, but all will settle down on Saturday. It's now time to go to Dave Caldwell with sports. Dave? Well, since it's Valentine's Day, I thought it would be appropriate to see how much love our basketball teams are getting from the CIF Southern Section pollsters in this, the final poll of the season. On the boys' side, Co-Foot Illig champion Canyon has a great spot that could very well carry them to the Division II AA championship game as they are ranked number two. Saugus is number 13 in this same division. The league's other champion, West Ranch, cracked the top 10 of Division 1A for the first time this season, and their road to the finals is much tougher. And as you can see, most of it's going to go through Orange County. The final girls basketball poll has more Foot League teams represented, but the polls show none of them will have an easy time in the playoffs. Co-league champion Canyon finished 8th in Division II AA and therefore may have a harder time than fellow co-league champs Saugus, which finished the season 7th in Division IIA. Both will be home for Saturday's first round playoff games. West Ranch finished the season 16th in Division IA. And that's our look at sports. All right, thank you, Dave. Children from kindergarten through sixth grade are invited to an exclusive storytelling event with multicultural performer Michael McCarty. He'll be performing at the Valencia Library on Thursday, February 23rd at 4 p.m. No RSVP is necessary for this special event. McCarty shares African-American stories, international folktales, and historical and scientific accounts with children, which are drawn from his personal experiences as a world traveler. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ryan Haslam.
Are you all-you-can-eat kind of hungry? Kyoto Seafood Buffet offers an endless feast of your favorite Asian and American cuisine. Sizzling hibachi cooked right in front of your eyes. Fresh, delicious sushi, succulent crab legs, shrimp, oysters, and more. Kyoto Seafood Buffet offers an all-you-can-eat weekday lunch for just $9.99. Not in the mood for seafood? No problem. From steamy chow mein, tangy barbecue chicken, and savory roast, we've got your cravings covered. Visit Kyoto Seafood Buffet in the Big Lot Shopping Center on Soledad Canyon Road.